catching it this this week bring you a few updates from the church hopefully you were able to see your connections that came out just yesterday uh, by email and to others of you in your mailboxes that has it's a has a great uh, layout of what's around the corner for us this is that time of year when so many of the programmings continue and of course uh, this year in particular we've been looking really forward to the return of Wednesday programming uh, to, to our Wednesday night meals together. Now, all that means children's uh, missions and music activities, our choirs back in play, uh, so many things that we've kind of have been uh, doing our best here at the church to follow guidelines and get ourselves in a really good position to be able to return. And all the plans are in place and we, you know, we were, we were, we we're in good shape and ready to go. Of course, we know now that comes with a big caveat that uh, the infection uh, rate is such and the conditions related to COVID are putting us back in a place where we're gonna have to uh, take a look at things and see, okay, how, how does that impact us going forward? What kind, of, um, what kind of actions does the church need to take to continue to chart the wise and um, uh, loving course for one another and for those around us? Those answers haven't been easy the last year and a half, uh, but we've done exceptionally well as a congregation uh, navigating that and so that alone gives me and hopefully you the confidence to know that uh, whatever is right around this corner the next few months uh, we can we can manage it together and do it in a um, swimmingly good fashion perhaps we might even uh, venture to be that uh, hopeful uh, the our COVID team uh, reopening team response team will ha are meeting this evening and we'll be looking at uh, what kind of uh, COVID protocols that we might need to put back in place for the uh, safety of uh, just all our membership and our community. Uh, and we'll we'll get you updates about that um, later this week, as soon as we as soon as those kind of take shape. However, that's going to impact us, uh, whether we're uh, doing some masking again or if that's going to um, impact any of our programming. You know, we remain or I remain really hopeful that. Um, we can um, we can put whatever protocols in place uh, to to keep us as safe as we need to be and still um, um, maximize uh, the you know the all that's available to us in the ways that we can do church. But whatever kind of adjustments we need to make, we'll be fine and uh, and move forward. So we kind of look at that list of what is around the corner. You know, the return of Wednesday meals and children's choirs and uh, youth programming and so on and so forth uh, with a little question mark hanging there. Well, what, what, how's that, how are all those things going to be impacted? And for now, you'll just have to hang on to that question mark, at least for today, Wednesday. We'll hang on to it and we'll give you uh, some, some more clarity in the next few days that come. Um, let's see, let me update you as well about our prayer list. There may be some other, you know, programming things and things that I, you know, that it would be great to highlight right now. Uh, but uh, I, I think for now, looking at your connections and seeing what's on the calendar, what's around the corner, um, we've got a several, just a plethora of dates that are upon us. So uh, beware of those and keep and just keep an eye out for the updates as far as uh, how any of them may be um, uh, revised or adjusted. So hospital update. We do have a few folks in the hospital right now. Um, Gaynell Pinson remains at Brookwood and you perhaps remember, you know, it's a couple of weeks ago even, maybe even three, we kind of acknowledged that um, Gaynell had a road ahead of her. So let's uh, continue to remember Gaynell as she is healing and recovering. Uh, Bob Lockamy had to make a, a uh, is, had to go into hospital uh, this last, uh, early this week and he's at Grandview uh, recovering himself, getting some tests made. So we wanna remember Bob and Billy and their family as he uh, has a little recovery ahead. 
Um, Bob Hardy has uh, moved to Fairhaven earlier this week, uh, maybe even this weekend. Um, so he's back in rehab, and so we're hopeful for a, a good course of rehab for him. And um, that's, that's the picture of our, our hospital front at the moment. So certainly remember those friends as, as you're praying in, in these days and reach out to them and let them know you're thinking of them. Uh, if you hadn't heard the news, we're celebrating with Ann Knight. She's got a new grandson, um, Aaron James Knight. And so it, that's always exciting. And we're glad to have um, to celebrate with Ann in this time. I think that uh, covers our updates for now. And like I said, I, I don't think I'll have, I'm not sure that there'll be a video update, but look for an email or something in the next couple of days that uh, gives you a little further information about activities around the corner. All right, well, there's a helicopter going overhead. That may, you may or may not hear that, but I'm gonna use that as my cue. And I hope to see you soon, um, Sunday, either uh, behind mask or not. I look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. Have a great day.